Merry Christmas, friends. It's Mary, and I am today joining Kimberly from Diva Designing on a Dime and Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner for a really fun uh, little collaboration where we are going to be decorating our coffee and hot cocoa bars. So I'm sitting here at my counter. This is the area of my kitchen where I have uh, put up my seasonal coffee bars. And of course, at this time of year, we must have hot cocoa. <laughs> so let me take you over and show you what I'm going to be including in my uh, beverage area here. And then we'll put it together and try to make it look very festive. Just a quick look here at my counter space that I'll be using. I have my Keurig set up and I also have a, a lovely candle going called Season's Greetings. Wow, is it a lovely fragrance. Certainly reminds you of outdoors in the winter time. And I wanted to show you, I have this really ugly, um, connector for a telephone from back in the olden days. And so I always have to deal with that and try to disguise it. And I'll show you how I'll do that today. Here is a canister that I'm going to be using for my Christmas cookie selection once I get them all baked up. <laughs> that will be starting very soon. But I really love it. It has the, you know, the word reindeer on it and such a cute red reindeer. And I bought this at Home Goods last year. And then this is my canister that I will be using for my hot cocoa pods. And then I like to keep hot apple cider pods on hand as well at this time of year. We need warm drinks every day, don't we? So I'll just put the lid on here. And then you may have seen this before. I love this little uh, vintage home coffee tin. And I keep both decaf and regular coffee pods in here for my friends who like to have decaf. Now for my hot cocoa, I of course must have candy canes because some people do like that mint flavor in their hot cocoa. And then in this Ray Dunn container that I've put a little gold glam on, I'm going to be adding uh, my marshmallows for hot cocoa. And we'll go ahead and pour some into this container right now. When my youngest grandson comes over, he heads right for this marshmallow jar. This is a Ray Dunn jar. He would eat the whole jar in one sitting. Now you re may remember from my fall beverage bar uh, that I used espresso, chocolate covered espresso beans, and I'm using that same container, but I put a red bow on it. I want to have some spoons readily available for my guests when they are making a drink. And oh, I have this beautiful container for Christmas. This is a um, Pioneer Woman design from Walmart. And one of my friends gave it to me for Christmas a couple of years ago. It has a nice container. And in that, I'm going to be adding Christmas colored uh, peanut M&Ms. So we'll just open that up and pour them in. This is my favorite type of M&M with peanuts. And I really love the way they have these uh, holiday colors for each of the holidays. It makes it really fun. So. There you go, yummy. 
All right, so let's go on over to my beverage bar area and put it all together. Here is just a quick peek as to what is going on in Colorado today. <laughs> Here is this cute little sign that I also used last year, and I wanted to show you how I deal with that telephone jack that's in the wall there. This is one of those sort of box designed signs. And what I do is simply hang it on that telephone jack and it completely hides it. It's a really good uh, way to disguise it if you have that problem in your house too. I have a lot of glare because of the snow outside, but we're gonna start by placing my uh, reindeer canister here towards the back because it's one of the tallest items. And then here's our container with um, hot apple cider in hot cocoa pods. And we'll continue with our M&M container here. And our yummy marshmallows. I think I'm going to move this around just a bit because I have these yummy Ghirardelli syrups, caramel and chocolate for topping your um, either coffee or hot cocoa. Of course, you can't have these warm winter drinks without whipped cream, can you? So I only put this out when I actually have guests over. And then we'll add our espresso coffee beans, our spoons, and we'll also be adding sugar and half and half in this cute, isn't it darling, little red uh, cream cow. This is a Pioneer Woman piece also. Whoopsie. So let's take a quick look at the bar. You can see right here behind my Keurig, I have a strand of garland, and it is the same Michael's garland that I've been using in my decor this year. And we have our lovely selection of peanut M&Ms, and then spoons, cream, and sugar. We'll move over here to my Keurig, of course, and in this entire area, I've really crammed a lot in. And as you can see, that green garland extends all the way over to the edge of my counter. And uh, I have added all of the ingredients that you saw earlier, including something I almost forgot, my candy canes and um, my uh, whipped cream and everything else that is needed to make a delicious warm drink for these wintry days. And let's celebrate Christmas while we do it. <laughs> I hope you got a few ideas from my coffee and hot cocoa bar. And be sure to check out the playlist below that I'll be linking that will lead you to many more videos from some other fantastic creators. And I want to say thank you to Kenya and Kimberly for hosting this for us. Lots and lots of fun. And uh, lastly, don't also forget to check out below. I will have my own playlist of Christmas videos called Rocky Mountain Cottage Christmas. You might wanna check it out. And don't forget to subscribe so I can hear from you. Lots of comments. I would love to hear what you think of my uh, beverage bar for the holiday season. So talk to you again soon here on YouTube. <laughs> so long.